Hi friends and welcome back to my channel and today's video. So the Swedish word of the day is base, which is a Swedish boss. Boss. So today I am going to try out this foundation and do a wear test and review. This is the Beauty UK Photo Ready Full Coverage Long Wear Liquid Foundation and I have mine in the shade Porcelain, which is the lightest shade. I was actually sure that this foundation came in eight shades, but now looking at the website and looking at multiple other websites, it only comes in six shades. And um, I bought this at the same time. Wait. At the same time, I bought this one, which is the W7 Very Vegan Foundation. And I didn't look at the shade ranges, so I do apologize for that in advance. This foundation contains 30 milliliters and it retails for 10 pounds on Beauty UK's own website. I'm just gonna read some claims of the foundation. So it just says that it's comfortable, it's long wearing, it's high coverage, it's a liquid foundation. Um, so yeah, it just says that this is supposed to be good for photo shoots, I do believe. Since it's called like photo ready, so maybe it doesn't contain any SPF and flashback, but I have SPF on my face, so that's good anyway. It says that it contains vitamin A, C, and E to give nutrition to the skin and is completely free from harmful parabens. So I'm just giving this a good shake. And as you can see, the pump is completely clean, so I haven't tried it. So let's see here. This is two pumps, and as you can see, it's like, it's very dark for it to be the lightest shade. So the shade range definitely sucks. But I am going to apply this to my skin. Did I prime? No, I haven't primed, sorry. I forgot to prime. <laughs> I am going to go in with my e.l.f. glow lotion on this side of my face, so only half the side of my face. Um, it's actually morning time right now, so I'm not up to par, like I'm a little bit tired. I just took Sigi out for a morning walk and then I just set up all of my studio lights and everything and then started filming, so yeah. I had some extra time this morning, so I thought that I would be a little bit productive and film. Okay, let's try this bad boy out. So I'm gonna blend this out with my Sigma F80 brush. It doesn't feel heavy and the shade is a little bit off, but it doesn't really matter. But it's not full coverage. It doesn't feel thick, but it definitely feels like a medium foundation because you can see right here that I did have some spots and it did cover that up, but the brush is not the right way to apply this. Um, this is definitely a foundation that you need to go over with a sponge because it doesn't really seem that effortless. So I'm just gonna put down my brush and go in with my Echo Tools sponge and just go over this. This is sort of a foundation I could get behind because it seems like it covers up what I wanted to cover up, but it's still, like you can see my skin peeking through this. So I'm just gonna do a little close up. So this is the foundation side. Looks pretty good. And this is the bare skin. I actually do like this foundation as of right now. It's not matte, it's um... I would say that it's kind of glowy actually. If you look at my cheeks, 
you can see that there there's a glow which you know that I love. It says that it's lightweight. I mean, I can feel that it's on my skin. I wouldn't say that it's as lightweight as my Physicians Formula foundation, for instance, but it, it's not cakey as a full coverage foundation, but at the same time, it's not full coverage. No, it doesn't say which finish it has, um, but I think it's definitely a glowy foundation. So I am going to do the rest of my makeup and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm done applying my makeup. I forgot to actually record my outro. So um, the footage that you see of me close up is actually before I had set my face, just so you guys know. It is now almost 10 o'clock. I did apply this probably around nine, no, 8.30 perhaps. I think I applied this on my face around 8.30. So you know, or eight o'clock perhaps. Yeah, I think I've had this on for at least, anyway, uh, an hour. And so far, I think it looks good. I did powder all of my face, so I do look a little bit more matte than I would like, but that will probably change once my natural oils come through my skin and everything. As of right now, I don't have any problem. Yeah, you know what? I actually had some problems with it around my nose, like the concealer, and my foundation didn't really mesh, and it just... It was hard to apply products on top of my nose area, but other than that, I don't have any problems with it. So I'll go ahead and uh, come back in the end of the day. This is how my makeup looks in the end of the day. Um, I actually did take some time just to look over the footage and I could see that this foundation is super illuminating. It looks so fresh, like my skin looks so fresh and glowy. And the, the shade match was not really that bad. I thought it was really bad for some reason. Maybe I was just really, um, I had just woken up, so maybe that's why. But just talking about the shade on my skin, but then also how it looked and how it felt, like it, it was so glowy and so beautiful. So I'm really, really happy about that. At the moment, it is, um, half past seven so soon eight so i've had this makeup on i've had this foundation on correction for almost around 11 hours i think because i think i said that i applied it around 8 to 8 30 so somewhere around that i will say that i noticed that my pores right here looked large Hey guys, it's editing Paulina right here. I just wanted to say that it's not actually the foundation that is making my pores look larger. I did use the Emlisi highlight that day and it's that one that makes my pores look larger. So just wanted to clear that up. And then my foundation rubbed off a little bit like right here on my nose. And then as always, I don't have any foundation right here around my mouth. I never do, as I've talked about before, I do have a some form of like text or something. So I always do this so I don't have any foundation there. But other than that, the foundation has really held up really nicely. I don't have any foundation right here, but I do believe that it was my fault because I was sitting like this a little bit during the day. Um, but other than that, everything looks really, really nice. It feels like it's held up really good my oils are starting to peek through right here on my nose area but i don't mind that i usually actually really like that i think i would use another concealer or another powder with this foundation though it doesn't seem to want to mesh well with that and i haven't done any touch-ups i never do touch-ups except for my lipstick Oh, and I, oh, it was so much fun. I was at the grocery store today, just shopping some fruit and a, an energy drink. And there was this lady, she was like, oh my God, I love your eyeshadow. And I was like, mm, thank you. Um, she was like, oh, are you a makeup artist? And I'm like, no, I'm not. I just love makeup. And she was like, oh, it's real pretty. And I was like, oh, this little, thank you. I did film this, by the way. I did a good ready with me this morning, so I can go ahead and link it up here because I know it's already up. So I'm gonna give this foundation a B plus because it held up really good. It lasted on me pretty good, in my opinion. It just wore off a little, little bit on some places, but 
I don't mind. It's it's totally fine. So yeah, I like this foundation. It's very, very glowy, which I love. It's not full coverage. It's medium coverage. I would use this when I have like pimples or something like that. I would say that it holds up well during the day. The shade range sucks. The price is A+. Plus. And yeah, I can't wait to try this without me setting my face. I'll see how that works out next time. But that was all from me today. I really hope that you enjoyed this little video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, feel free to thumbs the video down. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.